Habib, how's it feel to be a retired man? Feeling good, feeling. Feeling good, feeling great, you know. I just come here to enjoy a little bit, watch fights. Tonight is great fights, some great fights, you know. And uh, feeling good. Yeah, well, you know, you made the announcement to retire back in the fall inside the Octagon. But the official, official announcement, I guess, came this week. In the time between, did you contemplate coming back? No, but then I called this official. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm retired like five, six months ago. You know, it's like, it's very funny. You know, then I told me when he posted this, he said, someone write me a comment about, hey, <laughs> He retired not today, he retired like five months ago, you know, it's like, it's funny a little bit, but uh, we have like some conversation with, with Dana, like a couple times, you know, and uh, like uh, two days ago we meet with him, sit, talk, like two real men, we have a very good conversation with him, good dinner, you know, it's like, and uh, I really appreciated him to everything what he did, not only for me, for all this sport, you know, because UFC give uh, UFC is like big platform and a lot of people around the world because of UFC make money and uh, give food for his kids for they close people you know it's like uh, like they doing great job and uh, you know that's why I want to say thank you for all UFC team for all like like Lorenzo then, uh, like everybody who signed me, I remember Joe Silva, like everybody, Sean Shebo, these guys like doing like great job, you know, and they, because of these people, a lot of people have money, they have food for his family, and uh, thank you guys. I know that the appreciation you show for them, they certainly have for you as well. Um, you know, for those who maybe didn't hear the announcement in October, what ultimately for you led to this decision? You looked better than ever, 29-0, and 0, and you retired. You know, it's, it's it's very hard when you have power, when you're best in the world, when you're famous, when you have money, and say to everything like these things, no. This is very hard. Like, people maybe never gonna understand me, but I really hope they're gonna support my decision because, like, everybody have their views, you know, and my view and uh, my relationship with mother, like I feel I have to stop because uh, <clears throat> because I feel like in every fight, like in my every uh, training camp, like everything, this is take some of my age of from my mother, you know, and uh, and you know it's like what I have to do, you know, I come to this sport to show who I am, to become the best. I am world champion. I'm pound for pound number one. I defend my title three times. I win biggest fight in UFC history. You know, what else? Only money. Only money fights, but I don't need money fight, you know? And, uh, you know, it's like everything what we did with my father since when I was a kid, like when I beginning training on mats in my village, inside the house. And uh, when father put me with, uh, like, uh, put me wrestling with beer, when, when I told him, hey, this beer tried to bite me and <laughs> I remember when he told me like bite him back no problem you have to wrestle you have to keep going you know it's like since when I was a kid how we grew up each other how this guy how father take care of me everything then I become world champion combat sambo I become two-time world champion combat sambo then I have 16 and all we uh, out in UFC then UFC signed me and I have 13 win streak become world champion like everything I'm very happy about all my journey you know and uh, right now I feel I, I don't have nothing to improve like to show people who I am like I do everything in this sport and you know it's like I feel I don't need to nothing to do and uh, and uh, like two days ago when I talked with Dana I told him everything what I feel like and uh, he said he's gonna support me like anyways and I say no and uh, I'm very happy about this. I mean, uh, what comes next for you then? Obviously very satisfied with the journey you took and it was quite the journey in MMA, but what comes next? It's like I have some business projects. I'm gonna make money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy with my life. I have kids and uh, I have my brothers. They still fighting in US. I'm gonna support them. And uh, next week, my brother Abu Bakr gonna fight July maybe June, July, Islam have his first main event in UFC. He's gonna fight. 
he have seven win streak and end of the year or beginning next year he gonna be next contender in lightweight division I have my cousin Umar he just win w one fight in UFC he's undefeated 13 and all I have a lot of guys you know I'm gonna I'm gonna support them I'm gonna be very close to UFC and uh, I'm gonna be around guys I, I, I'm I, I'm not going to let you guys miss me you know <laughs> and but uh, you know it's like mm, but inside the cage, like, I don't feel I have to go inside the cage and do something. Like, you know, I fight 29 times. It's like, I think it's enough. Habib, you've been so generous with your time. Before I let you go, I just want to know, I mean, what do you hope your legacy in this sport uh, becomes? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Like, this, this is like a people decision, you know? When I was fighting, my, my decision, my job was, like, smash my opponents. And I did this perfectly. And, you know, it was like nobody was close. And uh, I defend my title three times. Like, like, I don't know. Like, this is people, pe people decision, you know. It's like. That's, that's fair. We appreciate your time. It's always been an honor to watch you compete. And personally, it's always been an honor to work with you. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you around. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> Thank you so much.